Hello, everybody. My name is Olga. And also have a name, Mandode. It was given to me by my teacher in India, where I studied interior design with healing properties and architectural um, uh, design as well. Anyhow, I would like to share with you my screen and show you my presentation, which is about how we enhanced energy in our new home. Hank and I, we purchased a house in Baltimore. And that's where I opened my business called Inspired Interior Design for Prosperity and Bliss by Olga Mandodri. So the company is Olga Mandodri Design. Anyhow, I would like to share with you some information how to enhance houses, uh, the energy of the house. And this is what I learned in India. Uh, many years ago, and this is what I practice. So let's start. Well, this is my book. Uh, it's Your Happy House, Illustrated Vastu Shastra for Everyone. If somebody doesn't know that Vastu means energy, Shastra means teachings. So it's a teachings about energy. Because in ancient times, people believed that the space and everything is, uh, around is actually alive, and it has um, energy. And so that energy is nothing but consciousness, consciousness of the space. So I published this book several years ago, and it's very easy to understand and read. So if somebody's interested, it's available. Uh, so what happened? We were planning to build a house. But during, during COVID, prices went up on everything, materials, uh, labor, and we decided to buy a house, to purchase a house because it was um, out of our scope, uh, the prices and uh, the total didn't work. Anyhow, so we decided to look in Baltimore because we have a special place in our heart for Baltimore. Baltimore is a unique city. It's very old. It, actually, it's older than Washington, D.C. And uh, it has a lot of interesting places here, beautiful architecture, um, museums, free museums, uh, conservatory and free concerts. So there is so much here and it's a port uh, city. So anyway, we started looking and it was a peak of prices. Uh, it was 2021. And that's when we started. So anyhow, um, we would we decided to buy a house in 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 the city to experience the city. So our requirements were kind of simple, but they had a very interesting background uh, meaning. So the house should be located according to cardinal directions to fit into the energy flow of the earth. This is what I learned in India because um, they consider uh, the ancient Indian teachings of Vastu Shastra, uh, teachings about energy, that it is very important to position your house according to cardinal directions of the planet. It doesn't mean that um, it's a magnetic um, uh, compass should be used because it's actually magnetic north uh, constantly moves, but the um, axis of rotation of the planet is stable. So uh, the house should be aligned with axis of rotation of the planet. It means a true north, geographic north with a slight um, declination. And that is another story why. But anyway, uh, I found out that um, Baltimore is quite an interesting city. And I suspect um, the planning of the city was touched by Freemasons, I think. That will be in my next lecture. Anyhow, so we decided uh, to look. And definitely with the knowledge I have, um, I needed to check the direction of the front door and how house is located according to cardinal directions position. So there is a, a word called Brahmastan. Brahmastan is a heart of the house or central part of the house. And according to the teachings, it should be empty because the energy should move and breathe. So that is very difficult to find because most of the houses, they have a lot of structures. So let's see what happened. The house should be at least 11, 12 feet wide. 13 feet, it's even better. Why is that? 
Well, because we always feel cramped and you know, kind of suppressed when we have narrow houses and low ceilings. Why? Because we have also energy field. Our energy field, some people call aura. It's actually much bigger than our physical body and much bigger. So when we feel comfortable, it's when the ceilings are high and the houses have a good dimensions. So it's not cramped everything because our energy fits inside. It doesn't get cut by either narrow environment or low ceilings. So that was important for us. So ceilings about nine feet high, that was a requirement. <clears throat> and we would like to have a real fireplace. I know people nowadays um, look for gas uh, fireplace or even fake one. It's just like some picture and some plastic wood is there and it's just something is burning. But that is not real uh, because the ancient yogis, they would actually gaze on the flame of a candle because the fire, the re real fire, has a very specific color and it's very soothing for the mind. So when we gaze to the real fire, then mind becomes calmer. So that's why we wanted to have a fireplace as a real one with wood. So you could actually gaze at the flames and become peaceful. Garden, we would like to have a small garden behind the house. And that was our requirement because we had two cats and a dog. So that was um, one of the requirements. Then we would like to have three bedrooms because one bedroom is master bedroom, another one is a guest one. And the third one would be our office, home office. So, um, and the bathrooms, of course, we would like to have bathrooms and at least two and a half. And we would love to be not far from the park that it was a dream. And of course, safe neighborhood in Baltimore because my Baltimore is very diverse. So not in suburbs because my husband never, he grew up in a small town in Holland. And then we lived in a small town in West Virginia because of his business. So we wanted to experience a big city. I grew up by the way in St. Petersburg, but also in suburbs. So living in the center of old city, it's very special. So this was our requirements. So what happened? We looked and looked for about six months. Uh, and it was driving uh, one hour, 30 minutes from Falls Church, Virginia. That's where we temporarily lived uh, while looking for a house. And we put so many offers and they were turned down because people would bid on the house and it was not easy. By, I believe, a beautiful coincidence or divine blessing, we found a house um, not far from Patterson Park. And actually, we have another property here. So that is just like a double blessing. So if you look at the map, you will see the true north is up, like every Google map is showing. And as you see, there are a delineation of streets. It's according to cardinal directions of the planet, which is perfect. It's just beautiful, just a slight shift, but it's almost nothing. So that was excellent. So this location is great. So this is Patterson Park. Uh, most of you know, that's a beautiful old park. And it was designed by the same architect as uh, Central Park in New York. So we looked also here in Madison Park where we have beautiful buildings and it's just like really historic properties with an incredible architecture. They were just absolutely amazing. But as you see, streets in the Madison Park, they're all under the angle. According to the ancient teachings, it says if your street is under the angle, and of course the house is aligned with the street, it means the energy is moving all the time is moving and shifting so it's not a peaceful place and city is hectic place by itself so i told my husband we can't buy a house where such a huge angle declination from the true north uh, line of peace of the planet earth so we decided not to buy but look at this beautiful houses here we looked at them as like wow the architecture is really beautiful it's just amazing. Baltimore has a lot to offer, no doubt. 
So anyhow, our choice felt here and um, we bought it. And it was uh, quite a uh, relief and happiness that we bought a house. So the house is here in, the, in between these two uh, three-story buildings. And there are two uh, two-story buildings attached. It's kind of like a block of houses. As you see, there is a tree here. That was also very important um, to look at the house where front door is not blocked by some object like a tree. According to the ancient teachings of um, Vastu Shastra, it's not good to have a tree blocking your main entrance because it blocks energy of prana coming in and out uh, through the back door. So there is no fluctuation of energy. So that was very important, actually. Years, years back, somebody sent me an article from Canada that one Indian gentleman, uh, Sue City, who did not let him cut a tree, which was blocking the front door. But he won the case because it was considered according to his um, belief system. But actually, it's energy. It's energy um, blockage. So this is really good that the tree was not here and tree is beautiful by itself and it gives a lot of shade because it's a south entrance. Okay, so the builder, he actually built the small deck uh, above second floor. And this is a main uh, master bedroom. It was kind of elongated and looking sad because the windows were facing only uh, nearby houses and there is no backyard. So that was the biggest minus, but we made uh, some incredible changes and we're very happy with that. So what did we do to increase energy in this house? Let's look. This is cross section of the house, just a sketch I made of what was here, full basement, first, second, third floor. And as you see, the third floor is uh, just a part of the building. And this was extension uh, built probably later on. So this is a small deck and this deck we decided to build because we didn't have um, a backyard. So we created this beautiful garden. You will see it in a second. Um, this is the plan of the house. And some people would ask, what does it mean? All this um, plans. So this set of plans with this grid pattern shows energy grid in the house. This is what Vastu Shastra teaches. Uh, we have to analyze the building and to find the energy grid in the building. And it's a whole technology behind. I'm not going to go over that, but just explain to you that the central part of the building, it is a heart of the building. So you could uh, describe um, this grid pattern as continuous up to here because it's just the latest extension uh, of the house. There was like a balcony here. So, or you could stop right here. So I stopped here because this is definitely extension to the house and that's the main grid pattern of energy for the building. So this pink um, square or rectangular is the heart of the building and it's called Brahma Pada. So the place of creation of energy, the highest energy in the building. So as you see, there is a staircase, which is not too good but I decided to increase energy in the building. How? We installed several skylights and I will explain why. So this is the top floor. This is second floor and roof. And there is a skylight here going into master bedroom. This is staircase and there is a huge uh, three by three uh, skylight installed to get energy into the house. And this is a smaller skylight in the bathroom. So this is how it was. The roof was kind of semi-flat with a slight declination uh, for the rainwater to basically follow and just get into the gutter and go back down downstairs. So this is what we have. As you see, there is a house here, house there. So there's no uh, backyard, just a little bit to have a grill and trash cans. No fun. So we had to do something about it because we had two cats and a dog and we wanted to have a garden because my husband loves gardening. We had two acres before we came to um, Baltimore. So we hired a wonderful builder 
And this is what we did. We cut a ceiling in our master bedroom to get light into the bedroom. And we installed a flat skylight. And then we built a big, large deck. So this is the construction of the deck. And uh, that's where our beautiful garden is now. And we have a gazebo right here, a pergola. And that's where we relax. So this is uh, kind of like in the middle of construction. And as you see, this big skylight, and it's for the master bedroom. They didn't cut it yet here, so nobody will step on this glass and fall into the master bedroom because this glass is not to step on. So what did we do next? This beautiful, absolutely beautiful stained glass, historic stained glass purchased for our future house we thought we would build. But because we didn't build a house, we bought this house, we decided to install this beautiful um, stained glass, which was in some church, I guess, some time ago. And it, now it's in our um, beautiful pergola. And this is eastern side. So when the sun rises, it creates beautiful, beautiful blicks and kind of like a rays of colored light coming down. That's why I'm doing yoga right here. We have furniture here. So it's such a, a beautiful, beautiful space. And that's where we relax most of the time. This continuation of the deck. We have this um, uh, outdoor dining uh, glass table with chairs. It's just a real paradise. My husband um, planted lots of plants and flowers. So it, it looks very beautiful and peaceful. As you see here, there is another glass right here. And the skylight is below. So it's called architectural glass. It's very thick. It's about three quarter of an inch and you can step on it. So nobody will fall through. And that is important because people would walk here and uh, so we would like to secure that skylight. Actually animals, cats and dogs, they go around. They don't like to step on it. Uh, that's a Buddha here. So kind of like a meditative space here. It's a little fountain here circulate self-circulating so it's a really peaceful place and it has a beautiful view because we are on the top of the hill butcher's hill and that's another biggest plus for energy because the energy here is very bright very um powerful because it's a hill and everything goes down and energy flows down too down the hill so when you are on the top of the hill the energy actually is there at maximum so it's a very good location to buy a house on the hill this is how it was uh, so we cut the um, builders basically they built um, cut a hole in the roof no rain thank god and uh, so we were looking for a good location for that and we had to move a little bit because there were structural uh, beams here so we had to shift a little bit so this was closed and that's where uh, the skylight was installed so what else did we do? This is a little zigzag here because it was a balcony, but it was uh, covered up and extended. Basically, it's an um, extension of the house. And all these windows, they were looking uh, um, into the other houses. And I noticed that if we would open this part of the wall, we would see tree. And, uh, and believe it or not, exactly here, sun rises during spring and summer. So it's really beautiful and a nice view. So that was very important to add to uh, this window to the building because it created a totally different feel in the bedroom. You don't feel like you're in the prison because it's just everything is enclosed. Here you have a view. So that's very important to have a good view. Okay, see this is the sunrise. It's just beautiful. And that's um, basically the place right here with all these windows. Now we have window treatments. It's even more beautiful. So this is another skylight. That's the uh, staircase. So actually, if you look from below, from the first floor, you can see a skylight because the staircase has come an opening. And so the solar energy, the cosmic energy comes down into the house and increases energy in the building. And it gives to the heart of the building even more energy, which is very, very substantial because you feel it. You feel more at peace. This is a skylight. Uh, it's not finished yet, but close to the end of the construction. 
so the uh, pyramidal skylight was installed in the master, uh, not in the, in the bathroom uh, on the third floor to create also a relaxation area with a good energy. So this uh, shallow bathtub was removed and installed a deep bathtub for relaxation and kind of meditation in the bathtub. That's where my bathroom is. So it's a very, very special place for me. And front of the house is also very important. Why? Because it creates a beautiful, happy atmosphere. People pass by, they like the fountains, kids touch the water, and the little Buddha is here. And it creates a very tranquil environment. And uh, kids go to school and they always like smile. People come sometimes photograph. So we uh, having before a property, historic property with five fountains, we sold it, but some fountains, um, you know, we were able to bring because we used to have a fountain business. So this business is, is my cat sneezing here. All right. Yeah, are you okay? Anyway, so it is important to create a beautiful entrance and atmosphere around your building because it creates a lot of happiness when people pass by and it stays there and it comes into your house. So it is very important. And if somebody is interested to create a beautiful environment, we can help with that. Okay, so this is the view of the house. And as you see, there is a sun. The sun was at our old house and we called our house the Maison du Soleil. So Soleil is the sun. And so we decided to call this house also a house of the sun. It has a name. And that's a symbol of the sun, of happiness, of daylight, and life. So that's how it looks like. All right, the door is also very important. We need to decorate front door because the front door, when you open, it brings new energy into your house. And if you have a beautiful front door, the energy is happy. So you bring happy energy in the house. That's why it is important to, he to have a beautiful facade, a little garden, and taking care of all that. Because that energy, house becomes very happy if you take care of your house and it gives you that energy because you live inside in your like mother's womb, right? So if your house is happy, you're happy too. So there are many rules how to increase the energy in the buildings and those what I explained, just some of them. And that's what I learned in India when I went in 2005. So this is a list of um, improvements we did to the our house, and it feels much better. It's very, very, um, basically, you can really sense that. It is definitely energy increased in the house. Okay, so this is the book, and if somebody is interested, it's on my website you can buy, or you can buy also on Amazon. And that's it. So that is about some other books I wrote and I published um in russian language i grew up in st petersburg russia came to us 30 years ago and um, my background is in architecture and civil engineering and in us i went back to school received the interior design degree went to india study ancient teachings how to increase energy in buildings and and design happy spaces for people so thank you so much and I stop sharing my screen and um, I hope I can help you to increase energy in your house. Thank you so much, my dear friends. See you soon. Baltimore is going to thrive.